Education. Education. We have been educated. Both of us. Yes. Well, I was educated in the Kettering school system. Yeah. And I was I, not. <laughs> I felt like I got a very good education finally in the Kettering school system. Um, but they that was, finally that was long ago. They finally told me that I actually had the same number of ribs as the female companions that I went out with. For a long time, my church thing saying, you know, that okay. Adam, therefore, has taken one rib and turned it into Eve. I was kind of confused there until science class. Hey, you science know, class turned thank out. goodness for the Kettering school system and their enlightened education. One of the best reasons that I got a good education was because of the Vietnam War. Why the Vietnam War? Because the Vietnam War kind of made a choice for young men that didn't really want to go to war, but didn't want to get married and get knocked up, they could take the education. Wait a second, I thought you got a good education, now you think men can get knocked up. Well, you know what I mean. Yes, well, that Bible, I'm telling you. But that's another story. But what happened was the, that they allowed deferments for those educators and, and, uh, or people that, that chose education in the 60s to go into education. And a lot of people that... that Normally would have taken jobs at North or Grumman or accounting jobs or any of those others went into the educational field. So and you had male teachers and that made it better. Is that no, what you're saying? No, no, I had No, no. What it did was it drove as males entered and was a private. You know, they became the primary breadwinner. Therefore, school systems had to pay more money. Therefore, you got better both male and female teachers during that era. Now. We have not maintained that kind of impetus, even in this particular war, since we no longer have a draft and things like that. But Yeah, it's an all-volunteer force. It's an all-volunteer, therefore we have no, you know, kind of, uh, what would it be? Is that a market force? Uh, yeah, a market force that would drive better teachers. Capitalism. God. Is that capitalism? Capitalism. Really? Market force. You, either, you can either go to war or become a teacher. I love that. Is that capitalism? Sounds more it's something like it sounds that. questionable, but but when, when you when we look at this, that's one of the reasons that I felt like I got a good education. So Greg thinks he's smart. No, I these think, people that, that let us have a map like this, they're not too smart. That's that's a real problem. Okay, we got more than eighteen municipalities, but we have eighteen school districts. Are you looking closely at this map? Do you do you see this craziness here where Dayton bisects? I learned that in math. Bisex, <laughs> Man River, just cuts right through it. That's so, are you, are you saying we have a lot of redundancy in here? In other words, you know, from from school buildings to to maintenance to oh, transportation departments, transportation departments, and, 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 and that really and supervises. Hold on, transportation departments drives me nuts. You know how much the Dayton Public Schools spends on gas and buses, moving our our kids around, shuffling them around. The crazy part is. We can't even make them walk to a central collection point. So, like, everybody in the neighborhood would walk to one point, like, outside of the neighborhood school that they used to norm go to when we had a normal system. They could all walk to that central point and then drive off from there. But, no, we have to go driving through every neighborhood, winding through, so we pick kids up right by their house. Very well, inefficient. I agree. I mean, millions of dollars, <clears throat> not to educate children, but to shuffle them around. I walked to every one of my schools. I never had to ride the bus. I even walked home for lunch every day in elementary school. We walked uphill both ways, yes. just like Lincoln. Yes. <laughs> but, but, but looking at this, besides the redundancy, besides all that craziness, we, we run into the same problem we run into with everything else about Dayton and, and, and statistics. You know, people talking about, oh, Dayton's crime-ridden. Oh, Dayton's schools are horrible. Oh, this, oh, that. Well... People, reality is, Dayton is like this, not just this. And if we, we grouped everything together, our statistics would change. And when our statistics change, perception of our community would change. And if the perception of our community changes, maybe we wouldn't have to bend over backwards and pay companies to move here and sit there and beg companies like NCR to stay. So maybe if we got our act together and stopped having eight, Teen school districts in one county. 
Well, you know, this gets into another topic, which which one of the reasons why these things were broken up the way they With 18 were. school board races. Oh, uh, well, what you can't talk about, though, is, you know, the, the factors that go around this. Look, well, that, that, that but, this city has, like, a right through the middle, and we, we well, divide race. We, yes. Or we got poor here, and then money here. Is that uh, well, no we can't, sense of things? But, but I think in the past, you know, we can get down into this again some other time, but in the past... You know, the reason this came about is, is you know, we, we know why. These are lines on a but sheet why of paper. Should we? Lines on a sheet of paper. We need to start getting new lines. Yes. We need the, to redefine our community. It's time one to more change thing. One things. more thing. The thing about it is, I don't think we should make our students pay for our mistakes. Better Sins take of the, the past. Thank you. Have a See good you tomorrow. One.